This product was provided by Banggood for review. This is a Xiaomi Fimi Palm gimbal camera. It is basically a 4K camera mounted on a 3 axis gimbal capable of 4K video at 30 frames per second. And before I get into the review I am actually going to show you some clips that have been shot with this camera in 4K at 30 frames per second. So this is video of me just walking along with the camera and I'm just walking normally If I pan round in between the trees there we've got a herd of deer so what I'm going to try and do is zoom in on them So that's us on maximum zoom and they're just lazing around in the sunshine because we've had days and days of rain here and I think they're enjoying just a small amount of sunshine so I'll zoom back out again hopefully it will give you an idea of the video quality and how well the gimbal works I don't know about you but I think that's pretty good quality video I'm impressed with the 4k video from this camera now I've got a DJI Osmo Pocket and in some ways this camera is way better because of the wide angle lens. You get a much better sort of cin cinematic look with a wide angle lens. The narrow lens that comes with the Osmo Pocket is a little bit restricted. Uh, the video quality, well it's difficult to say which is best. In some ways I think the Osmo Pocket is better and in other ways this is better so i don't think there's an awful lot in it if video quality is what you're interested in there's not a lot of difference between the two cameras now you saw the digital zoom there when i zoomed in on the head of deer with it being a digital zoom you lose a fair bit of the video quality when you zoom in with this camera now the other thing that needs to be said about this camera is it fits inside your pocket and that is just fabulous that means you can actually walk around and if you see something that you want to video, you just whip it out of your pocket, pull off the cover and you're ready to go. And 4K video, it's absolutely brilliant. So I do really think this is a very, very good product. So I'll get into the review and I'll unbox it and then I'll show you some of the features on the camera and you can have a look and see what you think. It arrives in a pretty small package. Just a little bit of information there. It's got a wide angle lens, 128 degrees. 3 axis stabilisation and it's capable of recording video 4K 30 frames per second. The other thing is it records in H265 so it won't take up so much space on your memory card. The camera and there's a small lens protector there. A set of instructions in English and Chinese and a USB to USB type C cable. That's the camera on charge and as you can see we've got a green flashing LED on there to say that it's charging. Once the camera is fully charged, the LED goes off. So it's now fully charged. So the camera doesn't come with a micro SD card, you've got to buy your own. In the instructions it says to buy a UHS-3 or higher speed card. So I'm going to use a SanDisk Extreme and it's a U3 just there. I don't know whether you can read that, it says U3. That's how you can tell whether it's got a high enough speed. This is a good quality card and I would suggest that you spend a little bit more money and get a decent card. So I'm ready to turn the camera on now, the battery is fully charged. Before you turn the camera on you must always make sure that you remove this protective case because if you turn it on with the protective case on 
you can damage the gimbal. So let's take a look at the camera. We've got a five-way joystick, which is this button on the left, so we can actually tilt the camera up and down, which is a very nice feature. Pan left and right, or if you hold that down, the second feature that this thing does is the first thing is if you go up and down it will zoom in and out and change the exposure value if you go left and right. So up and down zooms in and out, left and right changes the exposure value. Now I'm finding it quite difficult to keep a grip of this when I'm using it but I think it's only just getting used to it to be quite honest. This button is power on and off and record and stop. We've got a microphone on the front there and a microphone on the side. And another great feature about this camera is that it's got a six millimeter tripod mount on the back. And on the bottom, we've got the USB-C port and this is a little rubber pad for it to stand on. So you can change all the parameters on the camera using the touch screen. It's quite simple to operate and it's quite intuitive when you get used to it. So to download the app there's a QR code on the instructions. I'll just scan that with my iPhone. Download that. That was fairly simple. So now we've downloaded the app. I'm going to connect the Femi Palm to it. So turn on the app and then turn on the device. Swipe down and swipe to the right and then click on Wi-Fi there. That switches on the camera's Wi-Fi. Then go into the app and click on Enter Device. You've got to search for Palm with a load of numbers after it. There we are, Palm. Click on that. The password is 123456789. Click on that and join. That's just connected to the camera. And we can move the camera around using the app. And I've got the Femi Palm outside there on that tripod. And you can see the squirrels there on the feeder. And I'm actually controlling the camera with the app. Which means that I can record and stop recording. And it's very easy to get photographs like this of wildlife or something where you need to be stood away from what it is you're trying to capture. It works very, very well using the Wi-Fi and the app. So normally when it's booted up, the camera is facing directly away from the user. If you triple press the record button quickly, it flicks around and goes into selfie mode. So when it's in selfie mode, at the moment the camera is actually pointing at me and it's drawn a little green square around my face and it is now tracking my face. So I'm going to move the camera to the side and it will still track my face. So if you're actually using this for vlogging, I think you will find that quite handy. I think it'd be ideal for vlogging. What I will do is I'll post this little clip that I've recorded on the camera so you can see how that works. So I'm going to move the camera to the side and it will still track my face. So if you're actually using this for vlogging, I think you will find that quite handy. I think it'd be ideal for vlogging. What I will do is I'll post this little clip that I've recorded on the camera so you can see how that works. So having listened to and watched the video clip I've just taken using the Femi Palm, the sound is nowhere near as good as the sound on my Sony camcorder. And that's the same with every other cam camera that I've got of this type, both GoPro and the DJI Osmo Pocket. But this camera, you can use the USB-C port at the bottom to connect an external microphone, which will improve the sound considerably if you do want better sound. The 6mm tripod mount at the back there is a really brilliant feature of this camera, and I've just demonstrated how you can use that. But there is a problem with it, and I think they should have put that lower down. If I connect it to one of my smaller tripods, the tripod interferes with the gimbal, and that could ruin the camera. I had to use a GoPro type mount that I use for action cameras and it's, it's basically a 6mm thread with that type connection on the end and then it's got a threaded little nailed nut there so that's what I've had to do but even then I've had to grind that little nailed nut off in order to stop it from catching on the gimbal so I think that's a little bit of a design fault if that was maybe 10mm lower 
it would be far better to utilize. I think Xiaomi have done a very good job of challenging the DJI Osmo Pocket. I think this is a smashing little camera. I'm impressed with the video quality, the build quality is good and I think a gimbal is way better than digital stabilization. So if you're looking for a small pocket camera, even for vlogging or just for carrying around in your pocket to capture them moments when you're walking around and you think, oh, I wish I had a camera, you won't go wrong with one of these. It is literally take it out of the pocket, take the cover off and start using it. And you're getting 4K video at 30 frames per second. So I think it's a smashing product and well worth the money. I hope you found this review useful and thank you for watching.